that is dwelling in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. Now let's take another look at Psalm chapter 91 and we'll move over to verse 4. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Now we'll go to the New Testament and go over to Colossians chapter 3 and verse 3. Your life is hid with Christ in God. Now let's move back to Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 8. He that is touching you is touching the apple of his eye. Exodus chapter 14 verses 13 and 14. Fear you not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Psalm chapter 46 is verses 1 and 2. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear. Matthew chapter 14 and verse 27. Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. Luke chapter 24 verses 38 to 39. Why are you troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your heart? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for the Spirit hath not flesh and bone as you see me have. Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12. I know whom I believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him until that day. Anticipations of the believer of being ever with Christ. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Oh, who can tell what joy shall be on all the ransomed race when they shall join the hallowed strain and see the Savior's face. In God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. His a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. Home at last. Cushion. First Peter chapter one and verse four an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that is fading not away, reserved in heaven for you. Brethren, are you taking this day as your holy day? You know whose day that is? The Bible says B-A-A-L, Baal, the sun god. Nimrod started that many centuries ago. And you're following the false Messiah. If you've been following the tradition of men, get down on your knees and repent. Ask the Father and the Son to forgive you for not following His word, but the tradition of men. And if you truly want to change in your heart, they will hear you. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close it off for today. You have all a great day. I know I will. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.